Hi you guys, so today is Wednesday, August 21st, so today we are going to be heading down to Columbus because Oliver is getting his G-tube surgery tomorrow and sorry, I know it looks sunburnt. I actually did something to my, um, to my face last night. I think it was during my quote-unquote romantic evening in the tub. <laughs> it was really just like bath bombs, uh, bubble bath, music, candles, stuff like that to kind of just relax me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that kind of happened to my face, so it looks kind of sunburnt, but it's okay. But yeah, we're going to be heading down there. I'm just making food. Uh, welcome to my kitchen, by the way. You guys have probably never seen my kitchen. I just put my stroller in here, so it's like in a place where it's not supposed to be. I'm trying to figure out how to fold it. Um, there's a certain way on how you do it, but I haven't really had the time to figure it out. I just got back from orientation. Um... <laughs> This year is going to be such a stressful year because not only am I going to be having a baby home, I'm going to be doing school, so I kind of got my ID here, so, yeah, and I got my computer, my little Wi-Fi box I can take with me, everything I need, that was so long, orientation is always like four hours, so, you guys are probably like wondering why it takes so long, we have to go through everything, we literally sat and watched a 26 minute video on the rules basically <laughs> it was kind of unnecessary for it to be that long and for the people on the screen to be saying the same thing over and over and over but I had to watch it and um, we also had to do testing they have to do testing every single time we go to the orientation just to see like where we're at and everything but uh yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So yeah, I'm just going to eat real quick and then we're going to head out there. Um, a little nervous, a little not nervous, but yeah, tomorrow is officially his surgery day, which means a week from tomorrow, he should be home. <laughs> I'm just hoping everything goes according to plan. So hi everybody, we're at the hospital and little munchy butt is sleeping over there. So it's almost 8 o'clock so they're probably about to come over and do his care so hopefully all goes well this time and I not get stressed out. Because I was up here Friday to Monday, Monday I left because I got stressed out. Um, but yeah. Hey, baby. Hi. Hi. Wait, you just gonna act all still? Cause I started recording? It's just like when you were in my tummy. Each time I would try to record you kicking me, you would stop. What's that all about? not gonna say anything okay so this is a thing those are bruises um someone's supposed to come by and look at them but that's kind of concerning not even kind of it's like really concerning so that makes me want to stay here until Thursday or something like that's really kind of scary good morning everyone it is Thursday today is the day of his surgery as you can see he's got a little IV in his hand uh, they had to poke around last night figure out where to put his IV so I guess his hand was the right spot over here, just show you guys this. This is what they're using to transport them to the room. It's kind of cool. I don't think he's ever been in one of these things. So that's going to be interesting. So it is like two minutes till nine. So I'll kind of just show you guys. 
so we're just waiting. His surgery is supposed to be 1.30, but they said it could be either sooner or later, so I guess I'll just record and let you guys know whenever that is. So he's just chilling here. Naked baby. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, say hi. There's no reason to be doing that. There's absolutely no reason. But yeah, he has to be no clothes for surgery. We're still waiting. It's like, uh... I don't know if I can even zoom in. I can't. But it's like 10.55. What are you doing? His lips are so disgusting. Like, I kind of just want to pull it off. I see you peeking. What are you doing? Jeez, Oliver. Oh, he's got a little hat on. <laughs> Shocked that actually fits. It's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a stretch. I had to kind of... So they're getting him ready to go. I think it's kind of a big boy for it, but... I'm still got that. So we with their bag mask. Okay. Suction we use. Um... Alright. Yeah, grab that. It's cold down here.
see you too. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thanks. No problem. Hey. Oh, SpongeBob's on. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Procedure's done, so your doctor's gonna be out short. Oh, wow! Yeah. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a little TV. I'm not gonna like show it very long for people's privacy, but it's basically just a TV with everyone's name on it, it's showing what like, the status is. And supposedly Oliver's already done. We haven't even been here for an hour. They said the procedure is going to take about an hour, so we're just kind of waiting now because doctors just come down and talk to us. So. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So now we're back in his room. We're just waiting on his returnal. Returnal? Is that a word? Returnal? <laughs> um, yeah, return. Um, yeah, so I guess everything went well. The procedure was really fast. They said it happened faster than what they expected it, so that's good as well. Um... But yeah, just kind of like waiting up here for him. How long have we been sitting up here? 20 minutes? 15, 20. Yeah. So, wherever he is, he should be on his way back. Hi. How are you guys? Good. You all of our family? Mm hmm. Alright, I'm gonna put this right up here that we can grab him out of there. Hi. We'll look that way for a couple days while it heals and everything, and then they'll tell us when we can take leave the dressing off. So here is little Oliver right after his surgery, he's just taking it easy. So this is what, from what they told me, is just a little tube to kind of clean out his belly. Everything that's in there, and you guys can see a little bit of blood, but that's normal, and looks like he's got a little bit more stuff coming out, but yeah, he's in a little bit of discomfort, as you can see by his face, but he looks very tolerant to it in my opinion because like even though they did put him to sleep during his surgery it's just he's still doing pretty good i think so yeah, he's still on iv getting his stuff so yeah so thank you guys for watching this vlog i have to unfortunately end it here because like i'm a little bit over my time limit so I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace!